From November 14th to 21st, we're inviting you to join us for a powerful trip to Ghana. This isn't just a vacation. This is a chance to walk through the same places where many of our people were captured, held, and shipped off into slavery. So don't wait. Secure your spot today. We're making history by walking through it. Will you be with us? Have you heard about this incredible young man, a 15-year-old Ethiopian boy that created a soap that could transform skin cancer treatment? And he has been chosen as the 2024 Kid of the Year by Time Magazine and Time for Kids. His name is Heman Bakala and he is from Virginia, originally from Ethiopia. He is a teen scientist who could change how we treat skin cancer and he created a soap that could be a more accessible way to deliver medication to treat skin cancer including melanoma. Watch this clip of this incredible young man. We'll come back. Santa Virginia team from Fairfax County is Time Magazine's Kid of the Year. Yeah, 15-year-old scientist Heyman Bekele taking home that title. He is being recognized for his skin cancer fighting soap. Now, Heyman says the idea came to him while growing up in Ethiopia, where he watched people work long hours in the hot sun. We caught up with him during Black History Month earlier this year, and he told us he wants to turn his invention into a nonprofit organization. Heyman says his goal is to also make skin cancer treatment more accessible around the world. So this young man now is Times 2024 Kid of the Year, which is well deserved. Imagine if a 15 year old can come up with this. What are the more seasoned scientists doing about cancer? It's, it's a conversation, of course. We don't want to go to the route of conspiracy theories. Of they already have the cure and so on and so forth. But look at this young man. He was able to accomplish so much within his 15 years on Earth. And it just shows you how incredible our people's minds are. And we just need to encourage it. We just need to give it the information and the opportunity, the access to that knowledge. If we give them that opportunity, our young people are going to change the world for sure. They just need the platform and the opportunity. But this young man is proving that it can be done. Well done to this young man. I'll see you on the next one. I am on